All right, so what's your guys' name? Gabriel. Jimena. And what? Jimena. Gabriel and Jimena. How old are you guys? 20. 19. 19 and 20? Mm hmm. You guys homeless right now? Yeah. How long have you guys been on the streets for? Like a year and a half. What happened that you guys ended up out here? Parents kicked me out. And what about your girl? Same. Same situation? What do you guys do out here to survive? Hustle. What kind of ways do you guys hustle? Boosting. Is it dangerous or what? What's going on out here in the nah. streets, bro? Nah, it's, I mean, the only thing that's been dangerous is the cops. They harass you guys a lot? They have been the last couple of days because they're raiding all the 27th. Is that where you guys usually hang out on 27th? 27th through 23rd. Before you guys were homeless, how was your guys' life? It was good. Both of ours. You guys had jobs and mm -hmm. a house, apartment? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I used to stay with my mom. I used to do flooring. What about you, Jimena? Um, yeah, I stay with my mom work at Walmart. How long did you do that job for? Two years. I did mine for about, I started doing it when I was like seven. Like helping out. Did you, what, your dad had his own company or something? Side jobs. Side jobs? Who were you doing it with? My stepdad, my dad passed away. Sorry to hear that, bro. So you learned everything? Yeah, I know in everything. In that trade? Yeah. Why don't you go try to get a job in that trade right now? I don't have an idea or a social. You don't? No. Are you trying to get one or not? Yeah. You guys don't really have much to say, huh? You no. guys don't want to say anything? Don't don't want to speak about your life or nothing? I mean, like, because that's the reason why I do the interviews. You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, it's a long story. It's like, you want to put a message out there for the youth? So yeah, they don't get involved in this? I would say stay away from the blues. That shit fucks you up, fucks everything up. Like literally people look at you different. Like they look at you like, like you're a piece of trash. No one fucking respects you, nothing. Everyone thinks you're stealing your shit. When you're not, sometimes, I mean sometimes you might, might not even be stealing, but they think you're stealing just to get high. Where are you guys currently sleeping? My friends. I mean, sometimes. Not really. I mean, every once in a while. You guys don't have a camping tent or anything out here? No. Do you guys have kids? I have one I just that I lost and then one on the way. Your girl's pregnant right now? Yeah. How far along is she? Five months. Jimena, do you do you plan to keep the baby? Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do with the baby like once it's born? Well, we we both plan on stopping. Do so, you guys plan on going back home? Mm-hmm. I need to talk to my mom, yeah. That's good. Same here. Are your parents happy that you guys are having the baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far along is she again? Five. 
five months. Do you guys know if it's a boy, girl? Uh, a boy. Congratulations, man. Thank you. What are you guys gonna name it? Uh, we don't know yet. Still figuring that out. What do you think you guys need to get out of your situation right now? To get help. To have, what do you call it, you know, a little bit of help, like at a rehab, and then, you know, start suboxing or, uh, I don't know what the other one's called, but something like that. Have you guys looked into any shelters? Yeah. Did you guys stay there? Uh, no. Just because we've been hearing stuff about it. Like those uh, sober livings. Yeah. Because I know someone who got killed at one of those places. Like they stuffed them in a wall and shit. They stuffed them in a wall? Mm hmm. That's crazy, bro. But you never know. That might just be like rumors and stuff, you know? No, it was on the news. Was it? Yeah. But then these streets, too, they're really. Mm -hmm. Dangerous, aren't they? They can be. What's like one of the worst experiences that you guys had being out here on the streets so far? Really, just people talking out their ass, <laughs> just spreading rumors and shit, creating problems that you aren't get there. Creeps coming around trying to get at your girl and all that? Yeah, all the time. Have you ever had to like fight for her and like no to protect her no yeah because this area is not the best bro you know we're never we never separate that's good where do you guys see yourself in six months sober home with the baby and working on getting a job if your parents or your loved ones gets to see this interview, what would you like to tell them? That I love, that I love them. Jimena, same question for you. If your parents or your loved ones, if they get to see this interview, what would you like to tell them? Mm, yeah, same thing. All right, if um. If they try to look for you, do they know where you're at already? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If any if any one of my viewers wants to give you guys any donations or anything like that, do you have any contact information that you guys want to share? Mm. Uh, no, because they just changed, my mom and stepdad, they changed their numbers. You don't have no email or nothing like that where somebody can contact you if they say, hey man, we have a camping tent or we have, you know, 10 bucks that we want to give you so you can get your next meal. We don't, we don't have a phone um, right now, but we're always right here in this area. Yeah. What area are you guys in? 23rd. 23rd, 23rd in Thomas. All right, man. Well, thank you for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Are you guys okay with me putting this on my YouTube channel? Yeah. All right, man. I wish you guys the best of luck, man. Thank you.